these people are adolescents when they come in, come to us and they become adults throughout the course. So there is a sort of basic change in the, these people as they move through the course. In terms of working environments, we felt that the year one students were, were more spoon-fed, there's much more pastoral care, there's a lot of trust and respect being gained and as they move on to second year they start to become their own people. The light bulb goes on, they gain confidence in their own ideas and skills. They're asking, who am I as a designer? And then as they move on to year three, that working environment becomes a more peer-to-peer -peer environment and, and um, uh, more support in the individual in their own progression. The sense that the students see staff as like teachers, like school teachers when they come in at first year, and value staff more as kind of collabor collaborators in their endeavours by the time they get to third year. And that point of realisation that is probably somewhere in the second year, and that's uh, that part of the conflict as well. There is a conflict, I think, in second year in, in terms of expectation, <coughs> because I think the students, having got through first year, become much more self-focused and, and directed, mm. and they, require, they feel they need real support individually to help them get into their groove, whereas um, staff think that we're going to let him go because you're more independent and, and want to give you more space. And I think that I think there is a difference there. We, there were times, like last year, where we'd have one essay every three months and then it gets that last week and everyone would bitch about having this essay that apparently no one's ever heard of, but we have had it on the thing for three months. But we never, we, like, we were never really that reminded of it that much or we were never pushed to keep doing it. It was just sort of like how the practical stuff was doing and then at the end it was, oh, by the way, you've got an essay. And it was, I do think I expected more like help with IT side in second year. I think it kind of just stopped after first year a bit. Then when we went into year two, we, co we had to try and like learn it ourselves really and just kind of wing it with what we, all tools we were using. For me, I can't map anything onto a year one, year two, year three structure because that, um, there's too much variation in what students are being asked to do in each year across all of the various courses I might support. So for me, I'm thinking about how much subject content knowledge is being demanded at various levels versus how much are the students being asked to demonstrate skills mastery in, in the performance of their writing. So how much dependent learning is going on versus how much demonstration of independent learning. So you've actually made me think maybe I could come up with a kind of sliding scale diagram and ask academics to fill that in. How important is demonstration of I have acquired this knowledge versus how much independent learning expertise do you want them to show at a given time? And we could then time our skills support teaching um, for that movement away from the dependent kind of directed learning at the time when the more independent learning is being required.